everybody. Happy 2018, happy new year to you all. It is a brand new year and what that means is my favorite time, my favorite video to film ever and it is my Meg O Beauty Awards. We are gonna be going over the best makeup that I discovered in 2017. I've got a lot of stuff, close to 30 items that we're gonna be talking about. These products may not have been launched in 2017, but they're definitely products that I discovered this past year. As always, if you like these kinds of videos and you like me, make sure to let's start this year off on the right foot and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and to follow along on social media. I have gone by category of the order I put my face on. If there's like five things in one category that I loved, I'm gonna talk about five things. If there's only one thing, there's only one thing. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Let's go ahead and get this New Year's party started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a primer and I honestly didn't find anything this year that's like a like a pore filling primer that I hadn't found in years past that I was just like blown away by but I was actually blown away by this and I didn't think I would be but whenever I sat back and took a reflective look at myself I realized that I use this so much and I don't ever really talk about it this is the Ren perfect canvas primer and it's like a silicone free skin finishing serum it's really like liquidy serum format and it comes in this little dropper and you just like drop two couple drops on your face and massage it into the skin and what I like about it is it makes the skin extremely tacky you know what I'm saying like it's kind of sticky and you're like whoa wait why would I like that but my makeup sticks onto it so well and um I really like the like base that it provides. Um, it's very different than other primers if you've ever used other primers. If you like the smoothing, like pore blurring stuff, you're not gonna like this. But if you like a sticky primer, I think you're really gonna like this. I have been adoring it. It's I have three foundations that I want to mention today and two of which that are like sisters. So I'm gonna mention those first. I have a high-end and a drugstore option. Guys. Why did it take me so long to discover Estee Lauder Double Wear? <laughs> like, or not discover it, but like, why did it take me so long to use it? I started using it this summer and it's absolutely amazing. It is bulletproof. I live in Houston. It is 99% humidity like year round. This is freaking bulletproof. And um, if you are dry, you may not like it as much, but do, I do think it is blendable and it spreads out. If you find, um, it is very full coverage. It just gives you a flawless complexion. Of course, I'm wearing it, as you know, and um, I just absolutely love it. And then they released this year the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Foundation. And it's like its little liquidy, lighter little sister. And what I love about this one is that it just is... It's like double wear, but lighter and more of a medium light to medium coverage. It's super blendable. I feel like you can literally throw this on the skin and it blends out like a dream. If you have drier skin or you don't like the super full coverage foundations, but you love, you really like the staying power of the double wear, oh my gosh, you are going to love this. In fact, I love mixing them. I love using them both together. It's amazing. The combination is just flawless. Um, they're kind of different shades. One's a little bit more yellow than the other. They blend out nice. They work well together. I don't know what it is. I got both of them. I'm going to mix them. This is my favorite, my third favorite foundation. It's drugstore and it's actually one of the most inexpensive drugstore foundation finds that you're going to find ever. Like, ever <laughs> and it is the wet n wild photo focus foundation guys guys this foundation is beautiful they they nailed it with this formula it is just like a it's another really blendable formula much like that double wear water fresh and it just looks beautiful in photography it looks beautiful in any lighting situation i guess they tested it in tons of lighting situations um it just blends out like a dream it's like a medium to buildable coverage 
I think it's perfect for any skin type. Like, it's so good. It's really perfect for anybody, and it's like one of those foundations to just like have in your collection that's like the perfect medium coverage. You don't want to go too full coverage, but you kind of want to build it up. I don't know. It's so good, and it's hyped up, and it's really good, and it's like $5.99. You have nothing to lose. I use this constantly this year. You've seen me use it like a million times in makeup tutorials, Instagram stories, and this is my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. It's absolutely amazing at correcting those under eye circles. I like the formula of it. It blends out amazing. It's just what I keep going. I literally use it every single day. I've been using it for months and it hasn't run out, So, but I use the tiniest bit, so even though it is a bit of a splurge, it's going to last you a really long time. I mean, I've been using it for over six months, every almost every single day. So, <laughs> I don't really have to go on and on about this, but hello. Do we, do you, do I even need to explain the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer? Like, like, do I even need to explain this concealer? Like, how many times do I need to tell you that this is the best concealer that you will use? Like, it's so freaking good, okay? You gonna listen to me? Or no. It's only available at Ulta or on Tar Tarte's website. I have two shades, one that I use under my eyes, one that I use on blemishes and around the face. It lasts forever as well. I use it almost every single day. The tiniest bit goes the longest way. It's a splurge, but it's a splurge worthy item. Why am I even still talking about this? Like you guys know. Another, I mean, Wet n Wild killed it this year with their face products on the Photo Focus line. This concealer, the Photo Focus concealer, honestly has been so good. Like a, an amazing drugstore find. I've had a couple of Instagram followers that will message me and tell me that they got picked this up on my recommendation and they're like, it's so good. I'm like, yes. It reminds me so much of um, like the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Like this is super similar to that. It's just a beautiful, blendable, con blendable concealer. If you're really on a budget and you can't afford the Tarte Shape Tape, this is the way to go. It's so, so good. Powders, we're on to powders. Uh, my favorite loose powder that I discovered in 2017 has definitely got to be this Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Um, I was introduced to this when I went to New York and I had never really had much Derma Blend experience, but like this was definitely one of my favorite products that I had tried from the line. I continually use it. I use it to bake underneath my eyes, and um, I just really think it's like a super silky, very translucent, um, creamy powder. Doesn't give a flashback. Doesn't make you. Doesn't give a white cast. It is another kind of a splurgy item. So if you don't want to spend this the money on this, definitely go for the RCMA No Color Powder that's only $12. I've talked about it last year's Beauty Favorites. I still use the No Color Powder all the time as well. I kind of interchange these two because I like them just about the same, but this one I discovered this year and I thought that it was great to add into my favorites. Okay, the pressed powder that I discovered this year is a drugstore find. It's so freaking good and nobody talks about this. I have never heard a single person talk about this powder and I kind of just picked it up on a whim trying to find a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I think this is extremely similar. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiant powder and I have this in the shade creamy natural um, it's a very creamy powder it reminds me so much of that Mac mineralized skin finish natural if you're like hooked on that powder you're really gonna like this it doesn't feel super powdery it feels more skin like um, if you're not into that super powdery look but you want to set your makeup maybe you have dry skin you will love this let me just show you how much I've used of this product. Like, almost all of it. How many times have I talked about this bronzer as well this year? This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, it's literally holy grail status. Okay? So, will you listen to me already and just pick it up? Like, come on. It's like this buttery, like skin like texture that it leaves on the skin it's not powdery oh my gosh if you're dry skin I mean any skin type this is perfect for <laughs> can you tell I like the butter line I also really like the butter highlighter but I've refrained and I didn't use it as much as some of the others so I'm not gonna add it but the butter blush especially this one in vintage rouge 
oh my gosh, I'm wearing it, well duh, I'm wearing everything, but this blush is just like the perfect natural blush that is again that amazing formula that's very skin like that is just like very blendable it's not powdery it's not chalky whatsoever it's just the most beautiful blush formula absolutely love love loved the butter blush this year this year was not a big year for blushes for me. Like, I didn't really find many that I liked. And I didn't try a whole lot either, honestly, because I was so happy with this. Same with bronzers. I'm so happy with the butter bronzer when I discovered it. I was like, oh, what are... Nothing else exists in my life. <laughs> if I were to pick, like, one highlighter for this entire year, it would totally be this one. And this is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. They just started getting sold at Ulta. For sure online, I'm not 100% certain about stores, but this this highlighter is the most intense, beautiful highlighter I think I've used in a long time. It gives me that intense glow, and I know some of y'all don't want to like beam from outer space, but like Sometimes I want to beam. Guys, just order it online at Ulta and just trust me on this, especially if you're fair. If you are kind of a darker skin tone, you may it may be a little too bright for you, but if you're fair, girl, like this is so good. This palette is so good. And I have Anastasia Glow Kits. I have like so many highlighters. This is so good and it's so cheap. It's from BH Cosmetics and it's called the Spotlight Highlight 6 Color Palette. I've talked about it before, obviously. The colors in this are so beautiful. It's almost identical to the Anastasia Glow Kits, but like for such a cheaper price, it's so, 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 so good. And so many great shade ranges. I feel like this is very suitable for different skin tones and skin colors and shades. Um, maybe this white won't be so great for my deeper skinned friends, but it's gonna be great for my like pale AF girls. Y'all are gonna like this one so much, but like the deeper tones, y'all are gonna really like these like bronzy ones over here. So good, the consistency and like the texture of these are so creamy they're so blinding I love these wow. this is a single eyeshadow called the glow down and it's from Maybelline I'm sorry it's a single eyeshadow from Maybelline expert wear single eyeshadow and it's called the glow down now my favorite way to use this is a highlighter and it is so stunning like I'm just gonna pile more highlighter on my face like who cares this is so stunning. It's also stunning on the lid. It's beautiful. Um, I think this is just like a perfect product to like travel with as well because I could use it as an eyeshadow or I could use it as a highlighter. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, if you've not picked this up and you kind of want a multi-purpose product for the, from the drugstore, it's like $1.99 you're gonna love this. Now the moment I know a lot of you have been waiting for <laughs> and it's my favorite eyeshadow palettes of the year. I know eyeshadow palettes are kind of my thing and I really think 2017 for me was the year of the eyeshadow palette. I discovered four that I, I literally could not narrow it down. These four were so good. First of all, let's just mention the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's right here. There were tons of mixed reviews on this Sweet Peach palette, and I've got to say, like, I was really surprised, but I ended up really loving this palette. I picked it up really at the end of um, last year, beginning of 2017, so I've really used it all year consistently, and I think that that's what really made me pick this up and put it in this favorites video is because I consistently use this palette. The shadow quality is great for me. Everything's pigmented and blendable. The shade range is decent. There's a couple of shades that I don't really ever use, like these greens, which why not? I should use them. And I felt like it was a great addition to my collection. And I love the way it smells. I know some of you guys don't like scented things, but I do. And um, it was just something that I used all the time and I, and I liked it and it performed well. It was consistent. I knew I could use it and create a really nice, easy, simple look with it. Run out the door. I loved it. Okay. Second, this was this was such a great release from Urban Decay, and this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I just want to show it to you here. You know, I was like kind of on the fence about this. 
I saw pictures about it and I was like, okay, great, another warm eyeshadow palette. Everybody's crazy about warm eyeshadows. But honestly, this is the most versatile palette I think Urban Decay, other than Urban Decay Naked palettes. The original Naked palette was one of my holy grail palettes for a long time, but then when I branched out and realized I needed more mattes, more more stuff to complete a look. Like I realized that the naked palettes didn't really give a cohesive look. It was so many shimmers in one palette. Like I had to reach for other palettes to create looks. Anyway, I just think that this was one of the best naked palettes that they've released like ever. If you don't like warm shadows, you're not gonna like this. This is a very warm, orangey palette. Let me tell you something though. Warm shadows look good on literally everybody. If you are like, no, they don't look good on me, try it. You know, mix it in with a silver or mix it in with something a little bit more neutral. Give it a go. Try it out. This, is, this third is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Can we just talk about this? It's so pretty. I've mentioned it so many times. Um, I It's 35 shadows for $38. Um, it's at Ulta now. I have the old packaging. They've updated it. It's just so versatile. I feel like this the quality of the shadows are absolutely incredible. Um, the range of colors is just like a one... Like if you only wanted one eyeshadow palette and you weren't sure what to get, this really is the palette that you want. There was so much like drama surrounding this palette, people trying to get it, they updated the packaging, whatever. All opinions aside, the shadows perform amazing, the colors are incredible, the shade range is phenomenal, the mix, the ratio of matte to shimmer shades is spot on. It's literally every single thing that one would want in a palette, especially a beginner who has zero eyeshadow palettes, or even a professional that wants something in their kit to take with them somewhere and don't want to lug around a ton of single eyeshadows. If you're like trying to figure out the best eyeshadow palette to get, um, and you're kind of on the fence about it, this is the one to get. But I definitely had to mention this one last because I use this the most out of every palette the entire year. Out of all of the eyeshadow palettes that I use this year, this is the one that I've consistently used the most. So, if you haven't heard about this palette, it's so good. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It is so beautiful. I have ranted and raved about this palette so much. It's got like the most unexpected, like beautiful pinks and reds and per like this beautiful uh, orange is like warm and neutral and pink. And looking at it, you're like, what do I do with that? But it works. Like if you start end up, I ended up starting to put these like pinks and reds in my crease and blended it out with some browns and it is just so pretty. I have an eyeshadow tutorial that I filmed this year using this palette. I'm linking it below if you want to see this palette in action. But it's definitely my most loved, like this and the Jaclyn Hill are like my top favorites for sure for this year. We got to do a palette slap for this. This was a discovery this year that blew me away and it is the Stila um I think they changed the name of what these are called these Stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows are life-changing if you've never used them and you're like you want to use glitter but you're afraid of like getting a glitter glue and a loose glitter and it going everywhere this is the way to go like I honestly don't even bother with loose glitter at all it is the most stunning liquid glitter you will ever use, ever. It's pricey, so if you're on the, if you're kind of on a budget, check out the ColourPop Supernova shadows. It's kind of a good dupe for it. It's not quite the same. It's not in this video because I just now started using it, but I think it's kind of comparable. Those are only six to eight dollars. This is like twenty-one. So, mmm girl that's so good i have two brow pot products that i discovered this year that i absolutely fell in love with one is affordable and one is a high-end product the let's talk about the high-end first this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil it's one of those you know 
brow pencils with the spoolie on the other end. The packaging is beautiful. I absolutely loved this brow pencil. I've used it to death. It's actually out. <laughs> I've used it all. And then the other one that I just absolutely loved is the ColourPop Brow Boss. I actually bought it in dark brown and I typically don't ever wear like super dark brown eyeshadow eye brow colors but for some reason the dark brown with my eyebrows is like phenomenal. It's another really beautiful beautiful eyebrow pencil with the spoolie on the other end. This is affordable. It's six dollars on Colourpop. For eyeliner, I really just only found one that I loved this year. I didn't try a whole lot, but it's so good. It's the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner, and it is so black, so pigmented. Okay. So nice. I was looking for a Kat Von D dupe and I really think this is so similar to the Kat Von D in Trooper. So if you're looking for a drugstore alternative, it's really good. With mascara, I feel like I liked a lot this year and I tried it a bunch of different ones this year, but this one was the one that took the cake. So I think I'm just going to mention it and I've talked about it a lot. And if you've never tried the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, you're seriously missing out. It's such a great mascara. It's a dead-on dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it is beautiful. It's like a bristly brush. It just really builds like volume and length. It's just absolutely stunning. It's like one of my favorite finds from the entire year. Like when I when I think about like 2017, I think Lash Paradise, Jaclyn Hill Palette, Stilo uh, Glitter, that's like immediately what comes to mind. And for it to beat out all the other ones that I tried this year, including like super high-end brands, that says a lot about this mascara. Okay? Okay. We are at the end of the road, guys. And it's lip time. And honestly, I was thinking a lot about... <clears throat> what lipsticks I wore the lo the most this year and I kind of didn't wear my lipsticks as much as my liquid lipsticks this year which is weird because I totally love like all the MAC lipsticks blah 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 but we're talking about stuff that I discovered this year or started wearing this year that I like and there are three that come to mind immediately the first is probably my favorite and it is the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Bombshell I used this in my, what was it? I think it was my makeup for photos video. And it's like the perfect dark nude. It's so flattering, I'm wearing it right now. It's just the most beautiful lipstick um, and it's just so flattering on so many people. And this has like the most um, perfect amount of warmth to it that it just like kind of brings the lips to life but I do have a ColourPop I love ColourPop lipsticks I have so many of them I mean I don't need, I've lost count but I think the one that I've consistently worn the most this year is in the ultra satin variety it's called strip I think the ultra satin is my favorite formula and this is in the shade strip it is a little bit darker and a little bit more neutral of a nude. Um, <clears throat> dark for me, I think if you're dark, if you're darker complected, these are gonna run like a light nude on you. It's so pretty. I've really been into like the more um, nudes this year. Of course, I love bold lips. I really found myself gravitating toward like the nudey stuff this year. I feel like it was a big year for nudes. Do you guys feel me on that one? And then finally, this one is kind of in a, a different shade family, but I absolutely love this drugstore lipstick. So the ColourPop super affordable. This is another super affordable one. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Petal Potion. Y'all know I think um, those Rimmel liquid lipsticks are like the most long-lasting liquid lipstick at the drugstore and some of the most long-lasting I've ever found. This is right up there with them. Um, it's very long lasting. This one is Petal Potion. As you can tell, it's a little bit more rosier, purpley, mauve -y. <laughs> These pull a little bit more on the warm nude side. And when it dries down, it tends to be really mauve on me. I really like this li liquid lipstick formula. 
it kind of feels a little sticky at first and then it finally dries down and it's and it stays put so well I thought it was definitely one of the high up there on the scale for this year guys I'm done like we got through this together that's my favorite stuff I discovered this year happy new year Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for following along. You all mean so much to me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye, guys! Happy 2018! Happy New Year! Woohoo!